to the stylist channel. Um, so to be on the stylist, it's not just about looking good on the outside, it's about what you're putting inside as well, because it always comes to the surface. So recently with the government report saying that we should be now eating at least 10 portions of fruit and veg a day, they've doubled it from five. It's almost impossible, isn't it, to have that? Not when you juice it um, and to get put, I mean, you can ha really have half of your daily intake in a really good nutrition, nutritional juice in the morning. So what I'm going to take you through is my favourite base a green juice um, and then to add to it whatever you're feeling like that day. I'm a really big advocate of food is medicine. So what I'm going to start um, with first is spinach which is great for like folic acid, iron, fibre and it always forms a good base. Kale pretty much does the same thing so I don't think you need both and I probably wouldn't eat kale on its own because it's got quite a bitter taste. And then I popped in some cucumber because it's really refreshing and it's great for hydration and um, I love cucumber anyway and it tastes really good in water. So that's really good for hydration. And then I always put a little bit of flaxseed oil in because that's great for skin and hair. Just a little bit though because obviously it's calorific. And it's also good for your insides and cleansing your insides. That's the best way I can put that. And normally I just get a little powder, um, one of these super greens or the wheat grass. I just put a couple of teaspoons of that in too. Okay. Never without my chia seeds. These are a great um, form of um, protein. They're really good. They've got full of omega-3s. And this has been hailed, chia seeds are hailed as the best super food in the world. Um, and that's been pretty static for about four years. I know we have a new super food every couple of months. So I always put stacks of those in. Also, when chia seeds are in um, a, a super juice, it just tends to keep you full for hours because they do swell up. You can actually make chia seed puddings just from chia seed and water and they just swell up. Um, so I think they do keep you full. And then, of course, the super hydrating, it's all about the coconut right now. So super hydrating coconut water, which is very expensive. So just put a little in and then top up with normal water. Okay, I always add a bit of ice. Let me just get my ice from the freezer. a little bit of ice because it don't seem to always taste better chilled so we put a bit of ice in there sorry guys i don't want to get it out beforehand because it may melt okay so now that's your basic super green food delicious drink for the morning i never eat food anymore i just have one of these now, depending how you're feeling and if you've got any ailments, you can add a number of things to that, all of them or just one of them. So uh, we're going to use fennel today. A fennel's good for digestion. So we're going to put a bit of fennel in and I do love the aniseed taste. It's almost like having a perno for breakfast or a recarb. Um, so pop a bit of fennel in there. Now, other things that you can add, you can add sunflower seeds for your um, added vitamins and added omega-3 or walnuts are really good as well for fibre and omega-3. Ginger, for when you're feeling like you need a boost, when I've had a, like a heavy night, if I pop some ginger in that, it really lifts you, it's good for the blood, it's good for bloating as well if you've had a pretty heavy night at, at, a, at a restaurant, it's brilliant for bloating and also <laughs> nausea if you've had a pretty heavy night on the drink and not the food that's very good and turmeric which is obviously good for inflammation of the joints um, i try to have turmeric um nearly well every day in something or other whether it be soups or juices um i have um, arthritis but i use this on a regular basis and it genuinely helps much better for you than steroids the only um, thing i would say is use the turmeric powder um, I did use turmeric root for a while, but it stains everything. 
it stains your saucepans, your bowls, your hands. Um, so I stopped using the um, turmeric root and I just used the powdered version. Just a note of caution there, guys. And then you can use um, coconut butter, which I use coconut butter a lot, um, and coconut oil for cooking as well. But a spoonful of that in gives a richer, smoother um, taste in your green juice. Also, there's many other things you can add to it, um, such as beetroot, which is obviously quite good for the blood and it's an antioxidant. Celery, if you're feeling bloated, is brilliant for water retention, but then you'll find you're, you've got to stay close to the bathroom all day. Or even um, cayenne pepper, which we're going to use in the shot later, but put cayenne pepper in if you want to, to boost your metabolism, if you're on a diet or anything. It's really good for getting everything moving and burning calories faster. So there's many things that you can add into the green juice, and I'll leave it up to you guys. Okay. So let's top that up with a little bit of water. Depends how thick you want your juice as well. Sometimes when it's green, you don't want it all thick and gunky. Okay, so let's just go over to my Nutri Ninja. I'm sure by now you either own a Nutri Bullet or a Nutri Ninja. And then just pop it on the That's the longest I've been silent for. <laughs> Enjoy while you can. Oh. Okay, I think we've got a glass out already. And then that's all done. The good thing also about adding water to it, we're told to, that we have to drink um, so many litres, like a couple of litres a day. This is one way of getting your water fixed as well. And there we have it. Cheers. Genuinely, it's delicious. I haven't had mine yet this morning. I've been dying for this. I always feel better after I've had all those nutrients in one power packed glass. Okay, so that's your green juice. So, one thing I really, really would tell you not to do is juice fruit. Um, you may as well be having a packet of fruit pastels. It just turns to pure sugar and you'll get that spike followed by a low and it may make you eat rather unhealthy. So, what I've come up with is this. Fairly sweet juice, but it's got the amazing property of sweet potato. And also the colour of this juice um, lifts your spirits anyway, um, because it's all bright, sunny and orange. So sweet potato is high in vitamin C, so you've got lots of vitamins in there. It converts energy from carbs um, and it's got as high in potassium, as high as bananas. So it really is. I think that we'll hear a lot more about sweet potato and the benefits of it um, uh, this year. So it's very good for, for juice as well. We, the thing with the Nutri Ninja is it extracts every bit. You don't really need to even peel things like carrots and um, sweet potato because it just takes all the goodness out of the skin as well. So we're going to put some carrot in there as well. Carrots are obviously brilliant for eye health, um, full of vitamin A, um, and they're, they're quite sweet again, but with, without the uh, full-on fructose that's in fruit. Okay, what I'm going to add into this is a little bit of cinnamon, which is brilliant for the blood um, and dilutes the blood and helps with high blood pressure. And also it's got quite a nice sweet taste as well. Okay, so obviously to that you can then add turmeric if you want. Um, and you can add cayenne pepper, um, so whatever suits your mood, or even some of these really powerful um, powders and elixirs. So for today, we're just going to add some coconut water because I always think coconut and sweet potato go quite nice together. And I mean, I should have left that ice out, but it probably would have melted. <laughs> As ever, a nice chill. This would be a great drink on a summer's morning as well. Probably even better in the winter to boost those serotonin levels just with the colour. Okay. So if you haven't got a Nutri Ninja, I would suggest you. I would suggest you go and get one. Screw it down. 
nice and tight. This is why I go quiet. <laughs> Gorgeous, that's really lovely. A sunshine glass. Jojo sunshine cocktail. <laughs> Very nice. Hmm. Here's to the sweet potato. Okay, you don't use, you've obviously all got little tops that you can put on and store in the fridge. But I wouldn't store it for more than a day because it does lose its um, value, its nutritional value, the longer you store it. Okay, so the days that you're running late, so you don't really have time to make juices or you haven't been to the grocery store, then you can just have a quick shot, actually. Um, so all that you do is put lemon juice, cayenne pepper, and even maple syrup or um, uh, good honey, just squeeze it in there, mix it round. You don't have to get the ninja out and just take the shot. That'll give you a real boost for the day. Um, you've got your vitamins in your lemon juice, cayenne pepper boosting your metabolism, and honey as a sweetener, and it's also got antibacterial properties. So it's always good to have something, and you can do many different shots. You can make your own up, up to suit you um, for, for the day, but no tequila. <laughs> well, not in the morning anyway. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed our little juice lesson. I mean, I could make juices all day for you, but it's very dependent on your taste and your ailments and how you're feeling and what you need that day. I mean, some of you, if you do like fruit, then I would just use like berries. I sometimes just use raspberries and the uh, Greek yog yogurt and some chia seeds and some honey to make a fruit smoothie when I'm feeling I'm, you know, that's, that's what I need. Um, but things like apples and pears, I know lots of people use those in their juices, but they really do convert to sugars. Um, so, so I'd stick with the berries, guys. But thanks for joining me today in, in my kitchen, and um, good luck with the juicing. Bye.